I was talking to two other people on the school campus. Now, I've been sharing with everyone, you know, I get these consistent dreams of being on this some kind of campus almost every night. However, this dream, as I was talking to these two individuals, I heard a whisper in my ear telling me I need to get out. And in that moment, I knew it was time for me to wake up. So as I start emerging, waking up from this dream, I felt a pressure on the side of my head and on the side of my thighs as it was pushing down on me. So in that moment, I knew this was sleep paralysis. There was a heavy presence within the room. So what can you do? Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tammy Do, and if you're new here, welcome. I'll be your guide on how to navigate through this earth realm. Today's topic, let's talk about sleep paralysis. Now, I rarely get sleep paralysis. I would say maybe two or three times within my life. The, the most recent one I've gotten was, I think, five, six years ago, a couple of days right after my near-death experience, right? Um, I was sleeping in my room and then all of a sudden I was awakened in the middle of the night. And this is around witching hour, around two to 3 a.m. And then I felt this heavy presence pushing me down. So you get paralyzed, you can't move. I remember that time I looked over to the, my right side, right on the side of the bed. I can see this, it's kind of like a veil, like um, it was kind of watery, but not watery. It was, it was a veil, a clear veil, and it was, there was waves in it. I can see it as I was laying there paralyzed. Again, and you know, when, when this happens, you can't move, but just look around the room. And that I remember that was what I saw. Now, th back then, I had no idea how to break free from a sleep paralysis, let alone what to even do when you see something demonic. Right? I, I never wanted to tap into this demonic realm. I hate scary movies. And... Um, but it's interesting because you're going to get to a stage, a phase, where you're going to need to learn about it, basically. To Because part of our soul is trapped in this lower demonic realm. Well, for me, my part of my soul was trapped in this lower demonic realm. And it was some kind of underground prison. Um, but to go back to the sleep paralysis, this most recent time, this was the very first time that I was able to break free from this demon. And so I remember waking up, I felt this pressure on my body. I couldn't move. And around that same time, it was a super moon. So if you think the full moon's power is powerful, super moon time, it's amplified, right? All these shadows comes up to the surface. And so around that time, I shared the last year or the last six, seven months, I've been learning about Seal of Solomon. So at that time, I already got my new ring of the Seal of Solomon. And I was wearing it. Well, the moment that I woke up and I felt this demon on top of me, I started chanting. So here's one thing that you can do. If you have a prayer or a chant that you typically go to, uh, you can say that, All right? My, my chanting that I was doing around that same time was, uh, was it Nam Yaho Renge Kyo? is uh, one of the 
Buddhist chants that I, when you're, when you're consistently chanting, you're opening up your crown chakra. And so I remember when I woke up, I started chanting this and then I called in my, my team and spirit to extract the demon. And within, I would say within 30 seconds, as you know, the extraction was going on, I felt a release. This, whatever it was, was extracted and I felt a release. And then I was just, I sat up like, what the heck was that? And I looked at my clock, 3 a.m., of course, right? So when it comes to witching hours and, um, you know, especially when we're tapping into this Halloween time, again, the eclipse, the super moons, like all these potent energy of the moon, there tends to be more activity on the physical realm. And especially now with the collective energy, it's, it's pretty dense, right? And so, yeah, and then what's interesting is now that, you know, I'm starting to learn about how to extract and actually get rid of these demons, there's no fear coming into this. When I woke up, there wasn't fear. I'm like, okay, it's, I'm, I'm going to extract you basically, right? I'm going to get rid of you. And what was also interesting is I used to hate, hate scary movies. Like I would want to watch it or it's on mute whenever I'm watching someone else or I just close my eyes. I don't even watch it. I don't want the energy. And plus I was too afraid to even watch what happens, right? But what's interesting is you know, as I'm learning about these different demons through the Seal of Solomon and King Solomon's story and how to control and extract these demons, one day I found myself getting pulled to watch um, something on Netflix. It was like a movie called The Priest's, the Priest's Exorcism. And this time when I was watching it, I wasn't so much like in, engaged in the story. I felt like I was being called to watch, to take notes. I was actually taking notes on what was happening because you know a lot of times some of these are based on what actual priests or um, you know the actual methods they actually do to do an exorcism or an extraction and. Uh, and yeah, I was taking notes. So one of the, in, in the movie, you know, um, the priest is trying to ex extract a demon through an exorcism of, uh, this little boy in this mansion that they just moved into was, which was haunted. And I remember him specifically telling this other priest that was helping him to hold the space because the other priest actually got um, attacked by this demon. So he's not, he, he, his power, his connection is not as powerful as the main priest. And so the main priest was telling him, hold the space, keep saying whatever prayer you say and keep saying the prayer as he's doing extraction. And so from that, when I took notes, a couple, I say a week later, I experienced that sleep paralysis and I used the same method. Keep constant in a prayer or a mantra. And then I did my extraction. Okay. So, um, so that's how you can actually, so I don't know how it's going to work for you if you don't have the training on how to extract these demons, but what you can do is keep repeating a prayer. And if you're afraid or when you feel this tension, just close your eyes and keep saying whatever prayer that you are familiar with. That at least would open up your crown chakra and scare away the demon. Now, for me, if it's there, I am extracting and getting rid of it and sending it back to source. Okay. So I want to share that little story about the um, sleep paralysis. But it's interesting because I don't get... I rarely get sleep paralysis, but I realized 
you know, during that phase where I was learning about demonic extraction um, and all these different demons, my focus and my attention was in that demonic realm. And I noticed there was a lot more activity when I was researching and training in that topic. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, so now, even with now, I feel like after I did the extraction or I, I broke the, in, the imprisonment curse and got released from this underground uh, jail or some kind of underground prison, I'm not getting pulled to learn about demons as much as I was prior to me breaking free from this imprisonment curse or imprisonment uh, bondage to this earth realm. So, so yeah, there was a good five, six months of me just learning about the Seal of Solomon, learning about demons, extracting demons. Um, but now it just kind of moved on. It is not pulling me as much, but if it does show up, I know what to do. I actually went to my sister's house where that happened and I closed that portal where that demon actually came from, right? So when we live in, um, in a space, so there's different portals that entities and demons can come from. So how you feel it, it's important that you, you sense it because it's not something that you can see, it's something you need to feel. And typically when a portal opens, you feel, when you enter a room, you feel this denseness or you feel something pulling you into that portal or that vortex. But you'll, it's a, you have to be able to be in tune with your body to be able to sense where these different openings, these portals are, okay? Otherwise, if there's like a portal open, then it's in and out of the different realms. Mirrors are also different portals that uh, entities can come in and out of. So I also want to be conscious of what's open in your surrounding, in your home. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you guys here today. Tiger came in and interrupted the recording. So I think that's all the message I have about sleep paralysis and these demons messing with you at witching hour. My advice to everyone is learn how to extract these demons. First is really clearing within yourself to be that clear vessel connected to source, because I feel like that is the only way to extract these demons and send them back to source. And first, you need to get all your chakras in alignment and build that connection with source. And um, once you're aware and you know how to extract these demons, there is no more fear, right? How you used to view demons before, it, the fear is gone. So now our role here on this physical plane is to extract and get rid of these demons and send them back to source. Okay, but that is all I have for everyone here today. I hope it helps. Uh, if you need some assistance with some extraction, my information is in the description below. Other than that, that's all we have for here for everyone here today. Tammy Doe and Tiger signing off. <laughs>